Once again, this is your man, Big Brother Tucker. There's a lot going on in the world today when it comes to indoctrination of our children. Reddit has officially banned the word groomers and labeled it hate speech. And I am sure that Twitter is soon to follow. The problem with that is it seems to me that the moderators of both those social websites seem to be concerned more with the words than the actual actions. And see, as of lately, that has come knocking at my front door. Let me be a little bit more precise. That has come into my home via one of my children that has had an adverse effect to that indoctrination bullshit. My child went to a school here in the Dallas Independent School District, one of its magnet schools, where the teachers were more concerned about their sexuality and gender identity than educating the children in what they needed to advance in life and in society. They had my child believing that she was a proud bisexual when my child was just experiencing puberty. So how in the blue fuck do they know or tell a child what their sexual identity is when they themselves don't know what the hell they want to wear that damn morning? It even goes to one of her friends, a young man who thought that he was ready to transition. Now, let me give you a bit of a backstory here. Both of these kids, this young man and my child, seemed to be having issues in school. And instead of the school looking for reasonable explanations, i.e., oh, they're freshmen coming to a new school in a new environment, so they might be having some issues adjusting, having a hard time just keeping up with the pace because this was a magnet school. These teachers, I'm not sure if it was the same teacher or separate teachers, decided to know it had to be something going on. It had to be a sexual identity crisis. No, it can't be kids just you know, teenagers being teenagers and having a rough time in a new place. No, 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 that can't be it. They must be fucking gender confused. Yeah, public schools. That's what they did. The young man thought that he was gay and ready to transition until his sophomore year when he went to a new school. Thank God for his mother getting him out of that shithole. He went to a new school and she said he suddenly had no longer had a, a desire to transition. He no longer even believed he was gay. Hell, he has a girlfriend now. So, and, and with my child, we found out that my child has, as a father, you never want to hear this day. My child has become now sexually active. And when we talked to our child, our children, the mother uh, of the young man and, and my daughter, it was more trying to see what they really were. Were they gay? Were they, were they straight? Were they bisexual? Because they didn't know. They were so confused and fucked up in the head because it was being pushed in our fucking schools. They just didn't know. It is hard enough to navigate the world and figure things out as a team. They don't need any additional pressure. And that is some of the unforeseen consequences that this sexuality agenda that they swear is only helping kids does. See, they don't talk about how many kids regret the decisions that they make when it comes to gender transitioning and sexual identity when they're teens. They don't talk about that. They're not going to give y'all that side of the equation because it goes against the fucking narrative. 
And no, I'm not apologizing for my language. If you don't like it, turn this shit off now. Because this is my child, my house. Fuck y'all. This is what us parents are talking about. If you see something like this may be an issue, you talk to the damn parent. You let us handle that. You handle the reading, writing, arithmetic, world history, state history. Whatever the fuck you teach and that's what you focus on. Personal shit, you bring it to the parents' attention and we'll take care of it at home. If you don't want parents coming to tell you how to do your job and teach your class, then don't tell us how to fucking parent. Go to nationalpost.com. The topic, I feel angry. Why some people regret and reverse their transgender decisions. Go to the all-accepted WebMD where they discuss doctors have failed them, say those who regret transitioning. They won't talk about it. And, and, and the WebMD, that article was written, in was written in March of this year based on information they received. The opening statement, people who had transitioned to the opposite gender and later decided to reverse their transition share about how they felt about the medical establishment had failed them in a unique Zoom conference call earlier in the month. They have a line in here from a doctor that simply says, it's, becoming, it's become blindingly obvious over the last year that D-trans is a huge part of the trans phenomenon. They talk about those people that made a decision too early. One of those people did said this in a quote in the WebMD article. It's a living hell, especially when none of your therapists or counselors will listen to you. This person said the hardest part of detransitioning, you know, if you were a man that wanted to become a woman, then they want to become a man again. The hardest part of detransitioning was admitting that it had been a mistake. Quote, it's embarrassing and you feel ashamed and guilty. Adding that it means losing friends who now regard you as a bigot. That's what all of us have been trying to get these idiots to understand. They are impressionable minds. They don't know what the fuck they want. Hell, most of the kids in college, at least half, changed their major while at college. And you, and you expect a teenager, a kid in high school, to have their shit together? Come on, man. You expect them to have their head together to this extent. It's like I heard a person say once, if you let children, and, and, and best believe that they are indoctrinating children back to elementary. If you listen to them, and if you went by what they said as children, this world would be populated by cops, firemen, pirates, and cowboys. Because, see, they don't give a damn about what that individual wants, what that child wants, what's best for that child. No, 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 no. They want a trophy to hang on their wall. Oh, I helped this child figure this out. Oh, I did this to this child. Here is the kicker. Here's what I fully believe. I have not looked up the facts on this. This is just straight my opinion. I am willing to put major money up to the fact that most of these people that are trying to indoctrinate your children don't have children of their own. I am willing to put major money on that shit. In the WebMD article, they have a segment, headline, Don't Trust Therapist. It reads, people experiencing feelings of unease need a therapist who will listen to them, said Watson. When she first detransitioned, her therapist treated her badly. She said they just didn't want to speak about detransition. She noted adding, it was a little kick in the stomach. They wanted it all one way. They don't give a damn about mental health. This person is telling y'all, hey, I made a mistake. I want to do, I, I, this was an error. Too young, didn't fully understand this. I don't, this, this feels wrong. And the same people that I guarantee you talked her into it didn't want to talk her out of it. It's all one-sided. Look, all we're saying is this. Teach our children what they need to know on an academic level to help them advance. If there are any issues on a personal level, things that you feel parents should know about, do not hesitate to inform us. If you want to give them 
general mild comfort. Pat them on the shoulder and let them know that it'll be all right. That's fine, but you have no idea how households run, what values and beliefs are. So to inject yourself is a violation. Teachers teach, parents parent. Stay in your lane and I won't have to roll rage. You dig? Man, we gonna stop it right there. You can catch the rest of that conversation on our Free Mind Thinkers podcast, which you can listen to wherever you listen to any of your favorite podcasts. We are on Amazon Music, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So give us a listen there. If you like what you heard, then tell the world. Share. Like the vid. If you have something to say, then please, we encourage everyone, drop a comment. Let us know what's on your mind. And you can find us all over social media. You can find our videos on BitChute, Odyssey, and YouTube. You can communicate with us through our various communication social media site platforms like Twitter, Rumble, Getter, Minds, Gab. Wherever you want to let your free mind thoughts flow, you'll find the free mind thinkers. Plus, we are now setting up our locals page, which will soon load exclusive content for all those that become members. So stay tuned. Things are going to get greater. Y'all take it light. Remember to listen less, learn more.